picture is, um, I'm going to tell you three things about it. One, it was, uh, God gave me an assignment to reflect what Jesus came to do. And one of the things that Jesus came to do was to set the captives free. So this one reflects that. The other thing is this hand represents the hand of God. And I'm going to tell you exactly how this came about. We were given an opportunity to do a Juneteenth exhibit in the downtown Central Library. And here again, they censor their artwork. My piece that I originally submitted, the president, Mr. Johnson, had the privilege of telling me it was unacceptable. They took my piece out of the show. So I was challenged to come up with something that would be acceptable. This glass that's in this hand is something that I already had because my friend and I, Tanya Starks, were praying, and we were praying for things to be broken and for people to be able to be set free. We were praying. I chose to use the very first crystal that I had in my house and break it symbolically to have things broken up in families, in friends, and in our nation. So that's why this glass is chosen for this particular picture. This picture represents, when we were doing our research, we found that by divine design, God freed the African Americans simultaneously along with the Passover of the Jews. It was during Passover season, April 10th, that the proclamation was signed, thereby allowing us to be free. So you have Passover that was happening at the same time that we were actually free. So that's divine design. And you should know that there are no coincidences in time. And if you, if you take this and put it back together, then you do have Jesus who came to set us up.